Welcome to Network Marketing Pro. My name is Eric Worre. Today I want to talk to you about how to talk to prospects. So many of you go out and you want to just give everybody every fact and figure. Let me tell you about the product. Let me tell you about the compensation plan. Let me tell you about the company. And in my opinion, most of the time you're jumping the gun because what you need to do first, if you want to take someone who's focused someplace else and get them to potentially consider what you have, you have to get them to open their mind a bit. And part of opening their mind is getting them to imagine something different than what they're currently doing. Now I've heard about this used in lots of different techniques over the years, but the best way I think about it is acting like a consultant. If you act like a consultant instead of a salesperson, you're going to build more trust. You're going to have a better conversation. And what do consultants do? They ask questions to try and figure out the situation. And one of the most important, I think, or a key at least, strategy is to talk to people about entrepreneurship. Not about your product. Not about freedom, not about your comp plan or your company or your team. Talk to them about entrepreneurship. Here's some questions you should ask people. Have you ever gone into business for yourself? And when you ask that question, what, what are you going to get? You're going to get, no, I haven't. And if they say, no, I haven't, then you're going to say, why didn't you? And either they're entrepreneurial, but they don't really have a product or an idea or a strategy or the money or the time, or they're not entrepreneurial. They're more employee minded. And that's a very important thing for you to know when you're talking to a person, an employee minded person, that they're going to go through some pretty big struggles in this entrepreneurial environment of network marketing. If, if, and if you don't know that and you're trying to push an employee type person into entrepreneurial thinking, you're going to create some stress and drama and friction. So if they say, no, I haven't, and here's why I haven't, because you can ask the other questions, why didn't you? Um, they're going to give you a list. And here's the list of reasons why people didn't go into business for themselves. I was too afraid. I didn't know if I had the skills. I didn't have a good product or a good service. I didn't have enough money. I didn't have the time to do it. I couldn't risk um, quitting my job in order to be able to make it happen, even though this has been my, my dream my whole life. And if they give you that list, what do we have inside the network marketing profession to be able to take care of that list? We have the friendliest environment for an entrepreneurial person who has the dream but doesn't have the vehicle. We have a way for those people with very low risk, with flexible time, with the product and idea already taken care of, all of the business aspects handled for them, uh, of this huge safety net created for them, for them to give it a shot. That dream that they've had for forever, to give it a shot. So if they say no, they haven't, they'll give you a list of reasons why they haven't, and then you can give them a solution. Or if they say, yes, I have, how's it going? Well, my gosh, I tried it, it didn't work, it was disaster. Why didn't it work? Well, it didn't work because I didn't have enough money. I didn't have enough time. I wasn't good enough with this. The product wasn't good enough. My location wasn't good enough. And do you or do you not have solutions to all of those objections and challenges that that person went through? It's the same list of solutions that we have inside the network marketing profession. Or they might say, yes, I, I've started my own business. I'm doing it right now. And it's a disaster. I don't own the business. The business owns me. I'm a professional babysitter. And they give you all of these lists of challenges that they have with the business. Or you can ask them, is it challenging? And they'll give you a whole list of reasons why it's challenging. And what do we have as a solution to a challenged entrepreneur? The ability for somebody else to do the, all the heavy lifting. The ability for the risk to be very, very low, not have to have employees, not, ha not have to have personal guarantees and offices and overhead and all these different things that are necessary for a traditional small business person are not necessary for a network marketing entrepreneur. So what you could say is what if you could trade all of that for a simpler path to be able to get the same result? The result, result is working for yourself 
The result is having freedom. The result is making a difference in people's lives. The result is taking care of your family and doing the things that you dream about, right? So if you have this conversation about entrepreneurship, no matter where it goes, you have a solution. If a person thinks that they're entrepreneurially, excuse me, employee-minded, then you could say, well, have you ever thought of maybe switching that instead of being employee-minded, maybe being entrepreneurially minded? You can have a conversation about that and talk about how easy it might be for them to give it a try. If that doesn't work, take them to a customer conversation, then that's fine. Leave it there. Second aspect is you can go into uh, a person says, I haven't tried it, and here's all the reasons why. You can give them the solution. Or the third is they've tried it and it didn't work. You can give them a solution again. Or they've tried it and they're currently involved in it, but they have challenges, and you have a solution for all of those challenges. So talk to people about entrepreneurship. And then you have an easy entry to talk to them about network marketing as a solution. Your product, your company, your compensation plan, your team, your system, all the great stuff that you have to be able to help them as a consultant, to help them from a bad situation to a better one. That's what we do. Try that approach. Give me your comments below and if you feel somebody else should hear what I'm talking about today and we get value from it, please share this video, like, comment, share, tag, do all the things that you do to spread the word. Together we're doing important work. Ladies and gentlemen, my wish for all of you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro, because it is a stone cold fact that we do have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have an awesome day. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, my name is Eric Worre, and if you're involved in the network marketing profession, I want to invite you to come to the Network Marketing Pro YouTube channel. Every week, we put out content on how you can become a network marketing professional. We have tips, ideas, strategies, interviews with million-dollar earners in the profession, interviews with global icons like Tony Robbins or Sir Richard Branson, lots of different things that we provide there absolutely free. Do yourself a favor, click on the link, subscribe to the YouTube channel, tell your friends to do the same, and I can't wait to see you there.